Welcome back to Real Air Gun Adventures. So I'm back today with the Beeman dual calibre rifle, the one that I've talked about recently. This one is a Sportsman RS2 series, which is sadly no longer available, but they do produce a Panther dual calibre rifle in a synthetic stock, and it looks pretty much the same as this one. So let's have a look. First thing, it does come in a nice case. This is a nice, short, tough little case. There's room for everything inside. And what comes in the case is a scope, two barrels, and the main body of the rifle itself. Let's have a quick look. Now the scope is a Beeman branded scope. Um, I think this is probably a little bit nicer than the one that's on the Beeman Jewel. It does have caps, which you have to take off, but once you get in there, it's got a nice finger adjustment and that is a really really nice good firm definite adjustment on there and that's because you will need to make some adjustments when you switch barrels only a couple of clicks but it just makes it easy for you um 25 mil tube it's a three by nine by 32 with some parallax adjustment on the end which is nice especially at this price point um I'll come back to price point in a minute. Now the synthetic stock is actually really, really good. It's nice, solid, it feels quality, no give in it, which is always a nice thing. The trigger guard is molded into the stock. It's all part of the, the arrangement. I say that there are screw holes there, but that's to release the action, not the trigger guard. The trigger itself is a two stage adjustable trigger. It's another one of the silver ones with the, um, the grooves for grip. Now, again, it looks like the Beeman P17 trigger. Um, this one feels a bit more like the P17 trigger. It's quite light. Obviously, it's adjustable. Now, the safety is the toggle type, so it, it flicks forward and backward. It's an auto safety. Um, they're not my favourite safety, but it's in the right place. It's easy to get to, and it pops out of the way. And with it out of the way, it is actually well out of the way. It's not going to be a problem. Um, now, it's a Beeman, it's a Chinese made rifle because it says so in several places on the rifle, but it's quite a nice quality, the Chinese made rifle. In 177, um, now I've, I'll be honest, I've shot this for a little while just to get the uh, feel of it. Uh, in 177, it's, um, it's pretty accurate. I mean, I've only tried it out at 25 um, and 35 yards and both times quite impressive. I'm going to shoot today at 25 because the scopes are 25 and I'll be doing it at home. Um, yeah, quite pleased with its accuracy. Power wise, um, over the chrono with, um, I'll be honest, the lighter the pellets, the better the results. But I did use some of these uh, JSB Diablos, which I've got here in this test pack, and I picked the lightest ones um, and I was able to get almost 10.5 FPE. Didn't quite make it. Um, no doubt with alloy pellets, you, you get a faster speed, but obviously less punch at the other end. 2.2, however, wasn't quite so impressive. Accurate again. In fact, I think it may have been slightly more accurate than the 2.2, um, but I was struggling to get up to 7.5 FPE. Again, I used JSB Diablos. Um, could be mess around with some pellets. Um, I could probably improve that. I think that's going to be the trade-off with a dual caliber spring-powered air rifle. I think it's probably really geared up for the 0.177 and the 2.2 is a bonus. It does work well, it is accurate, and this is still a nice rifle. That doesn't put me off of it, but I think it's worth pointing out that there is a, a definite power drop with the 0.22. Anyway, we've had a bit of a look. I'm going to just cock this quickly. Now, this is quite a long rifle. It comes in at 120 centimetres. It includes this um, muzzle finisher here, which apparently is a noise disruptor. I don't know what that is. But anyway, it's not particularly loud. I'll just break the barrel and I'll cock that. And that is a lovely, smooth action. In fact, um, I'd say that it's as good as anything else around. Um, I won't name names, but that does feel really good. And it wasn't difficult to cock, but it's a long barrel. So it's a long reach to get to that end. I'm off the picture, <laughs> you, can, you can tell. Also, I've got it tucked under my arm. Um, auto safety, that's already engaged. And then when it engages, 
you can see there's still plenty of room there to get your finger in. Sometimes these things come in very close to the trigger, but that one you can get your finger in there and you just flick it forward and it's off. Obviously it's resettable, which is a really nice thing to have with an auto safety. If you do flick it off inadvertently, you can put it back on again. Um, okay, let's pop a pellet in that target over there. I did have one ready and I knocked it down. So there you go, right, so we'll do that again. I do have um, ah, the barrel in my hand and I won't let go of it. Recently I did a video where momentary lapse, I did let go. Nobody noticed, it would seem. Anyway, let's give that a little shoot. Let's see what you think of the noise. Make sure we are pointing in the right direction. It's a nice thud, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to shoot some targets and we'll see what it's actually like and I'll be right back. Well, there you go. So that's 0.177 and 2.2. Good results, I think. Um, it's a relatively inexpensive rifle. Um, now, when this was available, it was about £150-ish. The, um, the Panther is about £199, depending upon where you buy it from. A couple of things just to show you quick, I think. Now, the barrels, they're pretty quick change. Um, let's get that up there may require a close-up or it may not no it doesn't you can see the mark on the barrel and the mark on the block you line those up and you tighten the grub screw it's as simple as that the same allen key fits the scope um, as well as the barrels so one key for everything nice straightforward idea this is what the barrels look like when they're not on the rifle and they do have these, they're quite smart, I think, these um, 
muzzle sort of finishers or whatever you want to call them. Officially, they're called sound disruptors, which um, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they do something. That I'm not sure, but it's not particularly loud. Um, so what you've got really is a choice of 2.2 or 177, whichever takes your fancy, one rifle. If you're someone that likes to shoot both calibers, or if you're not sure which you prefer, um, it's, it's an option. This makes much more sense to me than the double barrel Beeman Jewel, which was great, it's a novelty, it was kind of fun, but I don't really see where that fits in with um, any kind of serious shooting. Whereas this, I can see there's, there's a place for this. You could, you could make good use of it. In 177, it's quite powerful enough for pretty much anything. In 2.2, it's much more target and plinking. Um, I think what I do, I might come back at a later date and do an update. I'll try some different pellets. I'll have a fiddle around, see if I can get some improvement. I don't think it's anything that I've done. I think it's whatever Beeman have done. And I think what they've done is they've made a 0.177 rifle that could fire a 2-2 pellet. Anyway, that's it really. Not much more to say. Um, the only technical thing I think I may have missed is the weight. It's about three and a half kilos. So it's it's kind of a mid-range weight-wise. It is quite long. I've got to be honest, it's, it's not a short rifle. It's quite a nice looking rifle. It's quite sort of slim and almost elegant really. Um, and I do quite like the synthetic stock. It's, it's a nice shape. So... Rather than waffle, which I do all the time, and talk about silly minute details, which I do too much, I'm going to knock this on the head. So that has been the Beeman Sportsman RS2 series, dual calibre rifle, and if you want to buy something similar to it, there is now the Panther um, dual calibre rifle from Beeman, and I've seen those advertised in a few places. So. That's it from me. Please like and subscribe. It's a big thank you to everyone that does. It is appreciated. I say this every time. I'd probably say this too much as well, but it is really appreciated and it's why I do it. I'll be back very soon. I've got a few things lined up, um, including some scope stuff, which um, I don't do too much of because I'm not an expert in scopes, but I do like scopes. I do like shooting. So I'm going to talk about some scopes. Until then, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.